We have returned to the cafe and casino. We've been looking all over this town to try to find the things we need. And now we've come back. We've got our, whoop, we got our scythe. We got, yeah, this can opener. The can opener is the only item that we have. I need a new dialogue. Hi, Manny. I have a note for you from Lola. Oh. Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Hmm, there was supposed to be a key for us, you say? I just had a run. Yep, we saw Domino and Meche on the ship, and we gotta go, Glottis. I just had a run in with Domino and Meche. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Meche. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. Sounds good. I know it. He can do that. He can sit here very well. Well, we have a boat. It's we, There's like a bunch of other things we don't have that we need. I guess we're not going to bring that up to Gladys, though. We can look at this bar, but it doesn't seem like... Doesn't seem like anything's happened when I press buttons on it. Okay, we haven't. We didn't actually look in the casino itself, I guess. Le numéro gagnant, le 34, rouge, Paripas, 34, red. Well, I guess we're not fixing this particular game. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. We made the police chief very upset last time. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? So what's he doing here? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did he print those fake stubs? How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. All right, looks like we have a new item. Maybe to use at the cat. Be a racing track, possibly? What would we need to do that for, though? What else can he counterfeit? What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. We need, like, a reasonable union card. Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Meximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table.
All right, looks like we've got a quest. I remember when we found that elevator that went to the VIP lounge. They wouldn't let us in there because we didn't have a card, but we have one now and we need to get his money back so we can get the union card. So if we can succeed at doing that, that's one of the three things that we need. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. Everything okay down here? What happened to Monsieur Bogan's lucky streak? It ran out. What? So did he. Everything okay? What happened? What? So I wonder why is it relevant that the police chief left? Where did he go? I believe that we did find our way to the precinct last time. Didn't seem like anyone was there. Find that key yet? Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Okay, back to work. Okay. I guess not. Upstairs is where we started from. Is there anything else we should look around here? I believe uh, he did say that the people in the casino are losing. No reason for us to interfere. Lola, where are you? I guess we must have had a fence installed in the year that we uh, skipped over because first time Manny was here, he just fell off his cliff. Maybe the first thing he did was have a, a fence installed because, I mean, that's just, that's just logical. That's just reasonable. This was the the jail, I believe. Only police chief Bogan knows how to get in there. Right. Doesn't seem like there's any way we can get in there. At least not yet. Offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suit. Yeah, HL. And that goes to the airport, where we want to get strip searched, but we need to have something on us that is going to get the guard to do it. She's not going to do it just for pleasure. She's a professional, you understand. There's also, okay. there's also this bar where we need to get the communism book from these people. They don't like Manny, though. Hey, can I borrow this book? No dice, Cumberbund. He's too high class. But we do have the option of, of uh, reciting, well, not reciting, but coming up with improv poetry. And last time we did it, they didn't like it. I'm wondering if maybe we can impress them Testing. with our poetry. I'd like, I'd like to, to read, read another, another poem. poem. Sss, sss. What would they like to hear? Biba. Innerness. Pointlessness. I ache. The phone is for you. Eating only spiders and leaves. Skibi bop bop. Skibi bop bop. I am severely touched. Beholding B and S. 
Gracias. gracias. Muchísimas gracias. No, they didn't like it. I would think that if I could have, like, verses about, you know, the class struggle and perhaps the organization of labor, they probably would like it, but really none of my verses are like that. Can I learn new verses? Blue casket. Just doesn't have the zing of Calavera Cafe, you know? Well, let's focus on yeah, let's focus on what we have. Okay, so th those guys over there, I was thinking that I probably need to get the communism book so they learn how to organize. They have a union card, but I can all it seems like I can also get a union card from the person in our casino who we're running this errand for. Was there anything at the end of this hallway? Yeah. Right, there's this. We already got the can opener from there. And this was down here. I roll an elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. High Rollers Lounge. I'm sorry, Monsieur, but here's my pass, Jean Claude. Now shut those doors and drive. Oui, Monsieur. But actually, my name is Raoul. Alright. New area for us to search. Rolling a barrel into an elevator. Looks like cans of some sort of canned meat. Oh, I really hope this isn't where the old race cats end up. I don't need any cat meat. What are you doing? I don't know. I wanted some wine. Oh, look at what a mess you have made. Get out of here. Hey, what about my vino? It's not self-serve. You'll just have to wait until I get around to it. I mean, that was obnoxious of us to do that. Is there anything in there? Not picking that up. What? No, we're not picking what up? Oh, we can walk in. I don't need any cat meat. I don't need any cat meat. Anything in here that we do need? I don't need any cat meat. He does. I don't need any cat meat. He does. I don't need any cat meat. He does not need any cat meat. I don't need any cat meat. Well, why? Why are we in here then? I don't need any. I don't need any cat meat. He does not need any of it. Is there anything in here we need? Like that, there's like a thing in the upper left on that top shelf. Is that something that we, this is weird. Okay, I can't really seem to face the top of the screen. I'd like, okay, and my controls better? Okay, my controls are better now. I don't need any cat meat. No, he's not looking at it. I guess he really does not need any cat meat. I don't need any cat meat. What in there do we need? Because clearly there's... That's a room. It's like, it's there. Looks like a turkey baster. Hmm. And what could we maybe put in this turkey baster? Maybe possibly a, the means... To carry a liquid? Wake up, is it? Hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Uh, hey, let's beat up that waiter. Hey, let's beat up that waiter. Not a bad idea, but he's new. Give him a break. 
Well, don't mind me. Just passing through. Sorry, don't mind me. Just passing through. To where? The elevator. Doubt it. Going down? Going down? Probably. Later. Can't I go down to the cellar? Can't I go down to the cellar? It's a wine cellar. Wine goes down there. Maybe you could take me down there. Maybe you could take me down now. Oh, yeah. I could take you down, but I can't eat customers anymore. Uh, in the elevator. Elevator. No, down in the elevator. I want to go down in the elevator. That's true. They wouldn't see me hit you in there, but I still get in trouble. Why can't you hit customers anymore? Why can't you hit customers anymore? Exactly. It makes no sense. You could just open the door. Just open the elevator door. Then they really see us fighting. I don't want to fight. I just want to get... Go downstairs. I don't want to fight. I just want to use the elevator. Chicken. How about, what if I bribed you? How about a bribe? Look at me. What can you give to a guy who has everything? Okay. Nighty night. <sighs> he has a point. This is a man who is in want of nothing. Hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Okay. Nighty-night. <laughs> All right. We got... We want to go downstairs into the cellar, because that's where the money is supposed to be. But he's guarding it. He's not going to let us through. He does take wine down there every so often. There is some wine in this tap, but I mean, he doesn't... Like, he, he's, he, he's going to want to roll an entire barrel down there. There's this fridge, which we can walk in, but we don't want cat meat. I don't need any cat meat. Maybe at some point we will need cat meat, but there's cat meat on these shelves too. I don't need any cat meat. So why would we need to go into the refrigerator for the purpose of cat meat? like a little drain on the floor. Get wet in here. Well, we could try our tools. We do have a can opener, which we presume opens cans. The can opener wouldn't work there. The can opener wouldn't work there. The can opener wouldn't work there. It would not work there. The can opener wouldn't work there. Now, if I'm just if I'm not around anything, he just turns it on. The can opener wouldn't work there. The can opener wouldn't work there. We can't just go around opening up nondescript cans. I mean, what else do you do with a can opener? You you get a new can opener, you break it in by going to a supermarket and just opening random cans. Doesn't everyone do that? Busy as ever, I see. Hmm. <laughs> Kitty. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that. Well, I can do the same to you, Calavera. Oh, is that a key? So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. So I believe he's the guy that we saw coming out of the back room in the blue coffin. Nick, I need a lawyer. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. We need someone for the dunking booth at the club. No, we just need someone for the dunking booth over at the club. Funny guy. Yeah. 
How's tricks, Nick? Nah. Everything all legal around here? Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes, they keep themselves pretty clean. Apparently, Manny hates cats. I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. What is he like in the fourth race? Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's going to pull out of it and win anyway, right? No, that puss-eyed puss is going to lose. But nobody knows, and I'm going to make him mint. Hmm, maybe the races are a little bit fixed. But maybe we really need a lawyer. Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? Someone's claiming my roulette tables are fixed. Can you believe it? Can you believe someone would have the gall? Someone's claiming my roulette tables are fixed. But your roulette tables are fixed. Exactly. That's why I need a lawyer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? Well, obviously an excellent one. An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? Only the very best. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? Well, I guess it has to be Nick. You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Ah, he's on retainer. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Nice talking with you, Nick. Been a slice. All right. Well, we know that the the cat races are fixed. We also know that Nick has a key on him. We just happened to see it fall out of that case. Anywhere else we can go in this little area. Maybe not. It doesn't seem like we can walk any further on. Can I just steal your case? He'd see me do it. Yeah, he would, wouldn't he? Well, we do have one new thing. We have that turkey baster. Anybody there? I told you, we don't give out the kitty hats till Tuesday. <laughs> I'm keeping this little gold mine to myself. Yeah, when would we have the opportunity to use this, though? How would we use it? Let's see. Could we maybe draw some liquid with this? We can indeed. That water in the sink, of course, is the secret ingredient. Mind if you don't want to go in there? I haven't cleaned up yet. Mind if I go in? You don't want to have. Well, keep. So, the Naranja, he was, let me just get around, yeah, there we go, was he down this way? Like, not in, not in, not in the racetrack.
Yeah, he was in here. Alright, he keeps drinking from that bottle. Now, we can open up this refrigerator, and I'm guessing it's to distract him. Wait for them to notice. Something else I need to. No, okay, it's closed. Did I not open it up all the way? All right, I think I had to like pull. Yeah, I had to pull that out. Well, the door is closed, but does it count as? being open? Ah! Yep, it does. Eh? Trip, trip, trip! Look, you broke it! Now it won't shut! Gulp, gulp, gulp! How you feeling? Hold still, Matario. Dead. Ugh. Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drunks. Resek Chavargo. What kind of sailor are you? Mm. Can't handle booze, huh? What you tell us gonna know? What anger at the name folks give is at me? The tell you I shan't ball on the watch. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. <laughs> Am I here? Well, he sobered up. I send him to limbo. Yeah, yeah. You'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told him. Let's see what you got. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, rifle through his pockets. Semen and Selmo Naranja Ensign third class. I gave class. him the Doesn't idea look like in you first place. Doesn't like to work in the morning. That's right. Yoink. I already ah, searched him pretty Tiger thoroughly. Can't you can search him thir more thoroughly than that, I think. So, you still going? Hey! Velasco! Manny, do you mind? Artist at work here, eh? Hey, listen to me. You've got to take care of yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. Sure, of course, I understand. I don't know if this conversation is going to have much more to it. But it, we did knock, knock, knock out Naranja. And we got... His tags. And without his tags, does he... Maybe he just isn't able... To go on the ship. And if he's not able to go on the ship, that means there's an opening... That could be filled. Look, we have to do what we have to do. In this dog-eat-dog -dog world. Okay, so one of the three things we needed to do, take out Naranja. We've done it. One out of three completed. Other two things. Is one, get the union card. To do that, we need to get the money from the basement, in the VIP lounge. The elevator goes to the basement. The, there is a guard who will bring barrels of wine into the basement. He will not let us pass. Can we get him to let us pass? Or can we get him to leave his post? The other thing is to find tools for Glottis. We really have not had any indication, I think, about the tools. But clues could be possibly to get strip searched. Another is possibly to get the communists to give us their book. And maybe we could give that to the CBs. Another also, another also possible thing is we have that machine in our inventory, that device. 
this. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Right, print tickets. But where and how would be the opportunity to do that? We know how to use this. We've Well, we still have this. We just used it, but we still have it. Is there something else that we would use it for? There's this. The can opener. What can? What can do we open? There were cans down there. But I tried, and we just kept saying that the can opener couldn't open that. So what if it's not the cans on the wall, like these? The can opener wouldn't work there. The, the can we open wouldn't work there. The can the 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 the. the the can opener wouldn't work there. We can go up this ladder. I, that could spill a lot of juice. I'd better not open it when it's full. I'd better not open it when it's full. That maybe could spill a lot of juice. Maybe we should open it when it's full. The can opener wouldn't work there. Oh, no, I didn't want to go down. Just okay. Go back up. Hmm. There's no opening up here. Okay, I'm going back down. Okay, he didn't want to use the can opener on that when it's full. Weird, when I, when I go down the ladder, he automatically closes those doors. Why is that? And when I turn this on, I can't actually move. I told you to stay out of here. I wouldn't have to come in here if the service were a little faster. Hmm. <laughs> I told you to stay out of here. I wouldn't have to come in here if the service were a little faster. <laughs> All right, well, it's the same same dialogue. A uh, mille excuse. No different. So he does mention... He does mention here that I shouldn't open it while it's full. I'd better not open it when it's full. That could spill a lot of juice. So it's possible then to empty this and then open the top. He doesn't want to do it while it's full of wine. But I mean, I am opening it. I am draining it out. Does it matter if I keep doing that? It does it add up? Is it cumulative? I told you to stay out of here. I wouldn't have to come in here if the service were a little faster. <laughs> the waiter keeps stopping me from doing it. up there. Can I can I get up there? If there's a path to the second floor, it's not obvious. Oh okay, there's a room I missed. I did miss this room. It, would this be the big cheese? The guy we've been hearing about? Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? 
How's the old cat race, Max? How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. Oh, tell me about these side businesses. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Many. Let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. Got a pretty nice setup. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Your girlfriend? Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny, don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. Hmm, well... I guess we might as well mention that we saw, maybe saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? Ah, uh, yes, uh, familial kisses, yes. No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. Yeah, we would really need proof. And that one person did take a photo. So there is that. Actually, how would two skeletons kiss? Would they just kind of bonk their teeth against each other? I'm trying to think about that now. Well, maybe let's lay off of that for right now. I'm here for Charlie's money. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> I'm leaving town tonight. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. I like the new blimp. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that twice. Your new waiter's got quite an attitude. Your new waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. Well, it's true that we are all in little boxes. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town corner, Manny. Cut it out. I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. Well, one other dialogue option we have is to keep pushing on the bit about Nick and Olivia kissing. Can we interact with anything here? If I know Max, these will be wired to an alarm. You know me better than I thought. If I know... You know me... I guess we might as well mention it. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. All right. Well, we had a conversation. Maybe if we were able to find the person who uh, took the photo of Nick and Olivia, maybe we could show that photo to him. Get Nick in some hot water. Possibly. How's tricks, Nick? Nah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? Well, we could tell Max about Nick and Olivia. 
I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Oh, he left his case. Man, this is going to get me in trouble. But we love being in trouble, don't we? There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. I don't think that would get me the key. I don't think that would get me the key. It looks like Boeing tax stuff that I don't need. It looks like Boeing tax stuff that I don't need. Okay, so... It's Virago's cigarette case. But what would we use this with in order to open it up to get the key out of there? Here to be stuck. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. Cigarette? I don't think that would get me the key. Cigarette? Uh, I can't open the part that I think has the key in it. I don't think that would get me the key. We don't think it would get us the key. We even know what the key would be for. Have we seen some sort of locked door or compartment that we would want to open up? Gladys, I don't suppose you could, like, chew on this to break it open? I don't think that would get me the key. I think it could get him the key. I don't know. I think it could, I think that could, that could work. I feel pretty good about that. Why can't we look at this bar? Like, there's this, like, we have this perspective change right here. And the bar looks like it's probably kind of important. It doesn't seem like anything's happening when I look at it, though. Can I go behind it? Okay, yeah, I can work my way behind it. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. All right. Yeah, maybe just a sip. Gulp. Ah. <sighs> We got an achievement for that. All right, so we got... 
some gold flake wine. Who would want this? Or maybe we could get ourselves drunk and that could give us inspiration for poetry. Where's my suitcase? Where are your manners? You said you'd get my money from Maximino safe. Don't worry, Chuck. It's a work in progress. Work in progress. It's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Our suit's pretty good. Why aren't you at the tables? Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. What's your infallible system? Tell me about that system. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You, you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. You have to become one with the slot machines, Manny. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Slot, do, you, do we think slot machines attract an undesirable element? Like old women? I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. What else could he counterfeit? What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. What about passports? So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know. And driver's licenses? How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Well, I've got a club to run, so... And the burglary to commit, don't forget. Yeah, multiple crimes, actually. We got multiple crimes on deck. If we're going to be committing multiple crimes tonight. Well, maybe just a sip. Down the hatch. Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please press your beds. Gladys, you want any of this? I don't really want to do that. I guess not. I don't really want to do that. I don't want to share my liquor. Mm -mm. <sighs> I wonder if it matters how many times we do that. All right, so there was a bottle of gold flake liquor hanging around. There's... Okay, one person who we spoke to... It seemed like we exhausted the conversation was this man. I don't know if there's anything else we could talk to him about. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. I don't suppose you, you want a little... I don't really want to do that. We don't want to do that. Is there anything else, he, anything he'd want to see? I don't think that would get me the key. I guess not. 
I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. You don't really want to do that. There's no one in the jail, as we know. One other character to talk to, of course, is the guard at the airport. We figure we want to get into the back room. And we want to get strip searched. Maybe she might be interested in a little gold flake alcohol? Well, maybe just a sip. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Uh... Wanna share? Manny, I'm on duty. Well, no one's around. Manny, I'm on duty. Well, why don't I just walk through this detector with my with my wine? Well, now you have to give me your attention. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Man, I am not quite illicit enough yet. Not quite. Hmm. Do you want illegal tickets? Some Ill illegal tickets for gambling? I'm keeping this little gold mine to myself. No, we don't want to mention that to anyone. I guess. Do you want dog tags of someone who might be dead? I really want to do that. I mean, I don't see what the can o the can opener the there. can opener would not work here. So can I impress you with my VIP card? I don't think it's good for much except getting into the high rollers lounge. Hmm. I kind of doubt holding something in particular is what it is. Like I was holding this. Well, maybe just a sip. But I doubt it's holding it, it's drinking it is going to be the thing that affects anything, I suppose. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. And we haven't flushed the gold out of our system. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm-hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. That's interesting. I myself never really cared for figs. You don't say. I always like dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? Mmm, dates. They have such a great texture. Never a big fan of prunes. They're all wrinkled up like my Grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> Poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. Hedwig, now that's an interesting name. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Ah, six. The golden year. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. Mr. Rufus? He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. I remember I had a dog once. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. Huh? What's that? <laughs> and it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball. Have you ever eaten bark? 
It's not that bad. Which our cat often did. He had such long hair. I remember I had a hairball once. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? Ooh, ick. They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem no, less stuck up. because the taxidermist charges extra for them. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. Oh, well, no, that's a good point. No, 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 they really do. I don't know why. I no, guess it's I just because I'm so shy. That. I was shy all the way through high school. Yes. You seem shy. I never went to a single dance. Can you believe it? I was in detention all the way through high school. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. The boys would ask, but I'd just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I'd just smile once in a while. Running away. That sounds pretty good right now. She always said a smile is the most important part of any outfit. Hey, well, Mom maybe I him. would have smiled you know more, does? Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Things do look bad, but this jump wouldn't do the trick, unfortunately. Well, we know where that room is. That's the cat's litter box. They're locked. They're lockers. They're locked. They're lockers. Well, we fa unfortunately, there was no strip search, but we found out how to get back here. Uh, we just had to drink enough gold flake liquor so the gold would set off the metal detector. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. I guess she probably doesn't. She probably doesn't. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! I didn't want to make Carla mad. I like Carla. Well, that's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh, no. Yep, we might have to go digging. I mean, I understand that Manny feels guilty for what's happening with Meche. But, I mean, hanging around with Carla seems not bad. I'm not going in there. Well, who is, Manny? Who is going in there? I'm not going in there. We, do you want that metal detector or not? I'm not going in there. Mmm, smells good. But I'd rather eat my own arm. I can't... Th I mean, if we don't go in there, we if either we need someone else to do it, or we're going to need, like, a tool. I'm not going in there. I don't think any of our tools is gonna do it. It's gonna make this happen. I don't really want to do that. Okay, we don't want to use it here. Well, okay. At least the metal detector is somewhere else now. Not entirely helpful because it's still not with us they don't have much use when they're alive and stuff they don't have much more but I mean it's an additional step yeah, we don't want to go out in the crowds hmm all right metal detector is in the kitty litter box we don't want to go in there. If we had something we could, like, fish it out with... I don't think we've seen, like, a fishing rod or anything. Well, I mean, we have seen sailors. I don't remember seeing any of them having, like, a fishing rod or anything. Maybe there was a fishing rod somewhere around? It is, like, a fishing town. Since there are, you know, sailors. So that could be a possibility. It's like, it seems like the kind of thing this game would do. Um. Uh, 
There's also that's, there's also the bit with the wine in the VIP section. It's it sounded like Manny wanted to use the can opener on the vat of wine, but he didn't want to do it while there was wine in there. However, we can't drain the wine barrel because the waiter keeps yelling at us to to not do that. But I don't think we've seen a method to get rid of that waiter as of yet. We have that cigarette case with a key in it, but there's a secret compartment, and we don't know how to open it up to get at the key inside. I can't open the part that I think has the key in it. But who would know how to do that? Aside from Nick, well, Olivia? Look, I know that I know that you're slamming teeth with Nick, but I don't suppose you'd open this for me, would you? But you don't want to go in. I haven't. I don't think that would get me the key. No, it does not appear that we can ask her for help about that. Of course, there's these gentlemen with the book. How do I get the book from them? I still think it has something to do with giving some poetry that they want to hear. Dig this real! Did you have pet names for each other? Do it. In the slaughterhouse of my soul. Does he hear? Hear? Go, baby! B and S. Gracias. Muchísimas gracias. No, they still don't like it. I, I feel like I probably don't have the verses that they want to hear, but where would I get them from? I don't suppose you know how to open this secret compartment. I don't think that would get me the key. That is not getting us the key. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Okay, back to work. Okay. <laughs> Didn't see that one before. Check out this fancy... Okay, we can show him the pass. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from th that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Compadre? He left? He, his problem? What problem? Ooh, ooh, meche. Where did Gladys go? I 
what is his problem? He's not in here. Everything okay down here? What happened to Monsieur? It ran out. What? So did he. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. It appears that he did take the VIP pass with him, but I guess we don't need it to get in there, since we can just go through the elevator without actually presenting the pass. But why did Glottis take it? We could see if we can find where he ended up. Like, he ran away, but he... I mean, he said he doesn't want to... He said he doesn't go there because of his problem. Like, would he go there since he has that VIP pass? I mean, if he's saying that he doesn't go there, then... Maybe he would like to go there. Maybe he knows he shouldn't indulge his problem. But if he has the means to do so, maybe he would. I don't suppose you gentlemen know where one might be able to get like a fishing rod What's the bus boys i mean you know what's wrong manny we workers have to do everything that they tell us and and we just don't want them you bees gotta be strong easy for you to say topsider mm, all right doesn't seem like there's anything new i could talk with them about Has Naranja checked in yet? Has, uh, Naranja checked in yet? No, but Toto Santos called. Said he's passed out at his place. So he's in no shape to sail, right? And he's out cold, but not that cold. I better go finish packing. I, you do that, son. But what if maybe I showed you... this? I don't really want to do that. We don't want to do that. Okay, some things to think about. We're going to save a game. Progress is slow, but happening. We did figure out what to do with the metal detector. We figured out what to do with the strip search. So, well, we moved the metal detector from one place to another. It's just that we don't know how to get it from the place where it is now. It's no longer being guarded. It's just buried in a large kitty litter box and we need to find a way to get it out of there because Manny does not want to dive in. I think it would just make things a lot easier for everyone if he dove in there. He doesn't want to. I have to find some other way to do it. Hmm. We got into the VIP lounge. We spoke to Nick. We spoke to Max. We got Nick's cigarette case that has a key in there. We f we know that if we can show proof to Max about the kiss between Nick and Olivia, that Nick would be on the outs with him. Is there a reason we really want to do that? I'm not really sure. But what I do know is that we need to get into that basement, and that basement is being guarded by someone. Someone who moves wine barrels into the basement. And there is a large wine barrel that... We might use a can opener to cut open, but we have to empty it first. The waiter stops us from doing that. So that means we have to somehow get rid of the waiter so we can empty the wine barrel so we can use the can opener to cut it open. And if we can accomplish this and get into the basement, 
we can get the money. Then we can give the money to get the forged union card. And if we have that, that's like the second thing we need to get on the ship. We already did the first thing, which is that Naran is unconscious and we have his tags. Assuming he doesn't wake up tomorrow. I guess he could always wake up by then. And then the third thing is to get the tools. But we still have not seen tools. Not sure about that one. Not sure about that. Well, there's much to think about. As we continue on with Grim Fandango. As we continue the saga of Manny attempting to get passage on a ship. <laughs>